rough one to end the regular season. Welcome to the channel where I'm talking all things Philadelphia Eagles, New York Yankees, New Jersey Devils, and Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. All right, what's going on, Rutgers fans? Travis Lonix here to talk post-game Rutgers, Maryland. Fresh here, just got back from the game, came back home about 10, 15 minutes ago. It's going to be a raw, raw reaction, just getting back from the game. Here, different spot here, recording this post-game, little office here, as the rest of the fans out here watching a movie or something out in the living room, or down in the uh, downstairs room here, obviously, where I normally record the bar. But, um, so, look, um, me raw again. This is a 42-24 42 to 24 to final score, Maryland beats Rutgers. Um, initial thoughts, rough, just rough. Um, but I love the way the team kept fighting and chopping because this game it got ugly quick. I mean, 28 to 3, start a couple minutes in the second quarter. Had to feel like could be 50 plus, 50 plus points, something, maybe 10 or so at the end of the game. And because uh, Maryland was scoring at will, very easily, just getting the ball and scoring. Offense couldn't do much early. Very rough, but I love the way they kept fighting. Made it 20, 28 10, 28 17 at halftime. Then uh, just couldn't, couldn't come back more than that. Made it 35 24 at one point in the fourth quarter there. But again, they Maryland pulled, Maryland pulled away, made it 42 24 final score. So I love the fight and the chop in this team. They kept chopping for sure. But overall, just a, a rough game because uh, he allowed nearly 500 yards total to Maryland. 361 passing yards for Tug of Aloha, set a career high, just career record for Big Ten passing yards and the win and everything. And you're shredding us. Again, look, great quarterback. He's going to go get on some NFL team as a really good quarterback, all the intangibles. Can throw from the pocket, throw out of the pocket, make plays happen, can run the ball if he needs to, make every, every throw out there. Been playing for years and years now in college. Really good. He's going to be uh, good in some uh, some pro team out there, play, play longer, everything. But so he was, he was, he was gonna be a tough, tough challenge coming in the game, and obviously uh, we just did not defend him and their offense well. Deep balls, intermediate balls, running the game. They got some big runs against us. Joe Harrison, max defense. That was uh, not good, and uh, they, they buckled down and played better. Got to force a couple turnovers, a fumble, which is great, and has a red zone. A big pick by Max Millen, love that. And then they played well, and then they kind of fell off. One minute thirty-five for. 24, not out of the touchdown before that. But um, yeah, so, uh, but overall not great. Definitely not great. Made plays second half, which they were making earlier in the game and then missing plays, so I had a couple more touchdowns. So yeah, rough there, but um, give them credit. But uh, gotta be better than that for sure. Offensively, you know, end up getting three touchdowns, which was great. Um, 24 points total, like that, just uh, Totally inconsistent. Could do much at first, then down 28-3 on fourth and five. Big touchdown from Gav to uh, Aaron Young. Fourth down was great. Couple touch push touchdowns. That finally, they finally ran touch push. I mean, worked great for the Eagles. Gavin, big quarterback. We got it every time we ran the play today. Um, on short yardage, uh, third and one, and then the goal line. Darren twice and Gavin scored both times. That was great. But um, yeah, I mean the place. I want to mention right now in this post game, place got. Rocking place overall, the crowd for Thanksgiving weekend. Rutgers, Maryland, you know, six and five teams. Didn't really know what what to expect, but place filled in. Student section was was packed today. And overall, the whole place lower bowl really filled in very nicely. So it kind of just sucked, you know. Get down early, seven nothing. Offense does nothing. Then fourteen nothing or 14 three, 21 three, 28 three. It's like holy crap! Like man, it sucks. I mean, the performance and for the crowd that came. To be playing like that, uh, it just sucks. Obviously, Shano and the team and for the fan base out there, but you know, they, they they battled hard. They battled hard. Kept the kept the fans in there and the crowd because they made it 28-10, 28-17. We made it twenty-eight ten. Still down eighteen points. Touchdown to Young. That place got rocking. Got rocking. So love to see that. I mean, Jersey Rutgers fans stayed and got loud. They made twenty-eight seventeen. It's uh. Couldn't get any closer to 11 points there. Would have been great, but down 23 is very, very tough, tall task to come back from. Can't put yourself in that big of a hole, for sure. Let's come with thoughts. Now, offensively, again, we'll touch more about them. Gavin Wimsett. I think we learned today, through the course of a good season, 12 games, give the guy total credit. Total credit um, for how tough he is. I mean, 
ran the ball a ton, uh, took a bunch of hits, got to be a toll on him, but he managed to play almost every down, played every single game, started every single game, and played all but, what, like five downs in that Wisconsin game. Very tough guy. Love his effort and how much he works for this team and everything. And got us the six wins in the ball game, but initial thought here after this game, seeing every game this season, just he's not the guy to get us past six wins and uh, to ultimately where we want to be down the road. Yeah, I just think he's not. I mean, uh, he can, has the abilities, big guy, can run, can, can make every throw, but just so inconsistent. Today he was missing guys deep, uh, intermediate, short passes, just rough timing, touch, feel. Uh, one play when it was 2010 or something, or 2017, had a great play call. I think 2010, a great play call. After the fumble, call the Kirk, Kirk's Rock again. He doesn't make don't know most of his play calls, but I thought he was solid today. Had some good play calls in there. Uh, play action, had Dremel, second second level, and throws the ball to a totally covered Quay Jackson. That's, uh, that can't happen. You can to see Dremel there, know we should be open, see that happen, make that throw. I mean, being down big made him have to open it up and uh, throw the ball a lot. And uh, some deep balls, which I like that, and completed the one to Isaiah Washington down the one yard line, and then led to a second touchdown for Rutgers, making 28 17, which was nice. Uh, a couple of good deep balls, a couple of real, a couple of rough deep balls, but overall, he went, look, 13 for 34. It's like 38%. That's just, just terrible. Terrible already had the lowest percentage last year, still probably the lowest this year, a little higher than last year, but now 30%. It's going to drop his season. Season total percentage to uh, obviously lower than what it was coming to the game. 165 yards, one touchdown, passing, one pick, and two touchdowns, rushing. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, he had some other balls, a lot of balls that could have been picked, tight windows. People are going to say some balls could have been caught, yeah, but some shallow balls, like, he just fires, and they're really tough to catch. I mean, would like him to catch a ball? Yeah, but he threw about 100 miles an hour. It's really really tough to catch his overall body work i mean we'll see he gets to develop these practices for the bowl game and the bowl game see how he and team play but just seeing it i mean i think he just holds back i mean i think these other games we've been in every game like i said been tight besides on this game we got down against michigan state so we haven't really had to open it up fully we've been in games the other teams have the full away late this time we were down big had to open it up it's because, I mean, Kirk sees this inconsistency, doesn't know, doesn't trust him enough to make the plays. And uh, that percentage is awful. And um, just, again, overall, accuracy, throwing the ball, touch, feel, seeing the feel, I just think it's not, he's not, uh, not it. Not it, not the guy. But uh, love the guy, totally. Nothing against him, him and his family, and hard work for Rutgers. But I think uh, moving forward, I'll talk more. I kind of uh, make a video later. In the next coming week, about the whole regular season, where we stand and everything, 6-6 six and six after the whole 12 games. But we'll talk more about Gavin later. But again, love the guy. I just don't think he's going to be the, the guy moving forward. He could prove me wrong and everything, but that's where I stand right now. But, um, yeah, so that's the game, 42-24. Got down huge early. Made it 11-point game a couple times. But uh, that's it. Uh, lose by 18, 42-24. Again, love the crowd to turn out this game. Got rock and love that. Student section, fans, everything. Love to see a good tailgate. But uh, it's wasn't meant to be. Credit to Maryland. They let the win, beat us now three years in a row. Again, at least like, this, they kept fighting. So love for the Shiner team. They kept fighting. They kept fighting. Could have gave in and absolutely beat down by a lot more than the final score ended up being. But yeah, I mean, total yards, 498 to 355, everything. Manung guy, one good him, 100. He had, ended up having 20 carries for 118 yards, almost six yards of carry, 5.9. Uh, battle today, some bigger runs later in the game, which great to see. Surpassed 1,000 yards on the season, great to see that. And yeah, Isaiah Washington, good to see that. Nice deep ball, 3 for 67. And uh, drum a couple catches, 2 for 25. Kyle, 3 for 31. And yeah, seniors, so I want to thank all of them, seniors guys, some team. Uh, credit to you guys. Some guys are going down injured the whole game. Guys played injured. Love to see that. Um, the fight, I mean, the will to go out there and play for this team. University and uh, Johnny Langan, who uh, came out there for senior day, was with the team on the sideline, everything pregame. We had a boot, 
missed today's game, missed the bowl game. Thanks, Johnny Lane, for everything. Did it the Rutgers, Scarlet Knights, University, Jersey guy. And uh, always love Johnny Lane for what he did for the program. But yeah, it's going to wrap up this post game. Again, kind of raw reaction. It's a rough one to end it. Lose the fourth straight. Fall to Maryland a third time. And uh, yeah, so 42 24, 6 and 6 is our final record for 12 games. We are going bowling. And we'll have much more content and coverage about this regular season, about the bowl game when it's announced, everything coming to you guys when it all happens. And a uh, video of regular season definitely coming up this week. But yeah, that's all I got. Travis Lonics here. <sighs> Wild ride. Been every home game, 5 and 2 record at home. Again, we'll probably make a video about that as well. Just all the home games combined. Just my thoughts first here. See you in Ticket Holder. But say much more coverage to come. But for now, I'm going to end this right here. And uh, that's all I got. Travis Lonics signing off. If you enjoyed my video here. Uh, give it a like, appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Drop a comment. Let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Have a good one. Good one. And as always, let's go, Rutgers.